Jason Lloyd. He's got Stefanski's balls in his fucking mouth. Embarrassing. Well, guys, he doesn't have his quarterback. You, you, you can't judge him. He doesn't have his show. Why not? Brian Dayball and um, Robert Sala are operating with backup quarterbacks, basically. They're 6-1 and one and 5-2, and two respectively. I never knew you had to have a great quarterback to be able to do a regular <laughs> rudimentary coaching skills. I mean, Stefan, those guys are 6-1 and one and 5-2, and two respectively. Kevin Stefanski, I mean, with a garbage roster compared to ours. Kevin Stefanski's two and five with a stacked roster. And you know why those guys are six and one and five and two respectively and Kevin Stefanski's two and five? Because th those guys' teams will run through a wall for those coaches and they actually coach to their team's strengths. It's one thing Stefanski hasn't done in three years. Has not. Last year it was a 20 yard box offense. Remember the 20 yard box offense? The two tight ends set, the most boring. Boring, prolific, garbage offense. I, sh I shouldn't say prolific because it was boring and it wasn't even productive. But it did do good in 2020, the strike season. But anyway, the same offense that chased Stephon Diggs out of uh, Minnesota. The same offense that chased the Odell Beckham out of Cleveland. That boring offense, which, by the way, I wish we were using right now. Remember the 20-yard box last year? Why is it Kevin Stefanski, the most conservative, boring, Two tight ends, sorry ass offense decided this year he's going to throw the ball all over the yard with a career journeyman quarterback. Doesn't make any sense. Could it be because Kevin has installed this offense for Deshaun Watson and he's like, I'm using it no matter what. I don't care. He's going to have to. Could it be that? I mean, what would a normal coach do? Say, well, you know what? This is not Deshaun Watson. Let me go back to the 20 yard box. And when Deshaun Watson comes back, we'll go to the new offense. I mean, I do not understand for the life of me why Kevin Stefanski is throwing the ball all around the yard with a career journeyman backup. And I'm going to be honest with you. Even with this career journeyman backup, we're 2-5. and five. We could be 5-2 and two at worst. I mean, let's look at the opening game. Jacoby Brissett comes out. He looks terrible. Looks like he hasn't played in five years. You know why? He only had um, one series in the preseason. Imagine giving your new starting quarterback, a career journeyman, one series in the preseason in a new offense. That's why he looked terrible, because the next week he looked good. We got we shut out the Panthers basically for 50-some minutes, two couple breakdowns, took a last-second field to win. And then we got the Jets. We had them beat 30-17, to 17, but a minute and 10, you know what happened. Kevin Stefanski shit the bed. So he that's his loss. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, the defense had breakdowns, but they, you guys don't understand. Kevin Stefanski's the head coach, all right? He's not just the offensive coordinator. He's the head coach. That's on him. So instead of being 2-0, oh, we're 1-1. One one. Then we get the Steelers. We try to lose that game, but we played relatively good. They were terrible. We're two and one. We should be three and zero. Oh. And then we get the Atlanta Falcons. And what Kevin has the worst coaching decisions ever that game. I mean, oh my God, the the end around of David and Joku was a terrible decision. The uh, going for it instead of taking points on the road without your uh, two defensive ends in the game, whatever. He lost that game. So we go to two and two. And then we get the uh, San Diego Chargers. We're up 14 nothing, and uh, we blow that game. Even though Staley gives us a chance to win at the end, we miss a field goal. People say, if you don't miss that field goal, doesn't matter. We missed it. That's Kevin Stefanski because, you know, we got the ball back. Instead of getting yardage, he uh, tried an end around to Kareem Hunt, and um, he tried to sweep the Kareem Hunt. They're guarding the sidelines. He ran right into the, the uh, defense. It was the stupidest call ever. Should have had Nick Chubb run up the fucking gut, get 10 yards, kick a field goal game over. And then we get the Patriots. We're down 10-6 uh, at halftime. In a game where you have one of the best offensive lines, the best running backs in football, why you don't even try to run the ball? You just say, up, oh, we're going to throw the ball around the yard, play right in the Belichick's hand. If you put nine guys in a box, Kevin just folds. He won't even attempt to run. So we lose that game. We get blown out. Then we play the Baltimore Ravens last week. And uh, we're up 10-3, have momentum, and he does a stupid challenge that was going to result seven yards at best. It turns the tide of the game, flips field position, gives them momentum, and we lose the game. Uh, I don't even need to talk about the final call and the final drive when we uh, went for a touchdown. Oh, if you score a touchdown there, you left too much time on the clock. Lamar Jackson would have just been Lamar Jackson that scored and won the game. The bottom line is Stefanski's two and five with a stacked roster. Those other guys are six and uh, one and five and two respectively with half the talent we have. When are we going to start holding this coach accountable for these losses? That shouldn't that we should not be two and five. At worst, we should be five and two, but we legitimately could be. We should we, honestly. We could have won every game this year. Six and one, five and two at worst. 
So why are we not going to just sit there and stop giving Stefanski a pass because he doesn't have his quarterback? When you don't have your quarterback, you coach to your team's strengths. You don't throw the ball all around a yard with a career backup. I'm tired of it. I'm fucking tired of it. If you fired Stefanski today, that team would come out motivated because they hate him. They, I'm not going to say they hate him. They just don't play for him. They don't run through a wall. Have you ever seen Stefanski leave his little island and talk to the players during the game? No. No one's allowed to even approach him unless you're Jimmy Haslam's grandkids. And you can go sit behind him and you know, hang on him, whatever. And you know, you can tell he was pissed off about what's he going to do. He's a puppet. Jimmy Haslam, you got a problem. His name is Paul D. Potesta, but your other problem is Kevin Stefanski. I don't know Kevin Stefanski to operate with a, uh, anything but a 20 yard box. I mean, he chased Diggs out in Odell Beckham. Oh, how about uh, he got uh, two? Uh, what the fuck was this? Two uh, shovel passes within eight plays? I mean, come on. Stupidest play calls ever. You need to fire Kevin, Jimmy. I don't know how you're accepting two and five. As a, there's no way we should be two and five right now. There's no fucking way. And I don't want to hear when Watson comes back if we go six and zero oh with Watson. See, I told you, I told you, if Deshaun Watson was our quarterback right now, would we better would have a better record? Fuck yeah, we'd have a better record. But that doesn't mask Stefanski's inadequacies. When you know you don't have uh, Deshaun Watson, you should not be running an offense, fucking throwing the ball around the yard with a guy that's fucking horrible. Jacoby's terrible. We already know that. Why we don't have defensive tackles is beyond me. So Kevin Stefanski, based on what he's done in the games that he's coached this year, two and five, he's fucking flat out. I had a guy tell me when we went up to ten to three. I had a guy tell me on Twitter, guys, I know you don't want to hear this, but Kevin's a genius. When I heard that, I flipped out. I was like, fuck this, I'm done. I cut ties off with him after that because he said Kevin was a genius. And right after that, I knew what the end result was. We were up ten three, and guess what? We scored ten points the rest of the game. They scored twenty, and they beat us. Ten points in three and a half quarters. Yeah, Kevin's a genius. That genius cost us another fucking win. We're two and five because of the genius. Any other coach, anybody, the worst coach in the NFL right now, Hackett, we're five and two at worst. Kevin Stefanski's a cancer. And Jimmy, you got another cancer too, Paul DeBotesta. I don't want to give Stefanski a pass. You need to fire him immediately. Immediately. Because he's killing your team. You got a stacked roster, and you and, and you're going to sit there and say, "Well, when Deshaun comes back, everything will be fine." We might go six and zero with Deshaun. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything when you go two and five in your first seven winnable games. I want Kevin Stefanski fired, Jimmy, before Monday night, and Paul D. Potesta too. Paul D. Potesta is the biggest cancer in the National Football League.